guys keep watching as we compare this awesome Monster Arts Godzilla to all of these other awesome NECA Godzillas and let you know which one I like the most. Which, if you watched Monster, if you've seen any Godzilla Monster Arts statues, you already know the answer. Okay guys, super excited today. Due to popular demand, I am going to start showing some of the Monster Art Godzillas. These guys are really expensive, but they look really cool. So this is one of the coolest ones I found, the 2000 Millennium Special Color Version by Bandai. Awesome! So let's go ahead and check out the box first because they do a great job on the box too. Here is some of the art from the box. I mean, check, take a look at that figure. Wow! Here is a look at its mouth, the entire figure. And here is a bigger picture of the figure. And then here is a bunch of writing in, I believe, Japanese. Because it is Bandai, so I cannot read that. So here is more writing if any of you guys are interested in reading any of that. But uh, without further ado, let's open this up. I am super excited. I mean, I heard from a lot of my reviewers how awesome the Monster Art series are. And this is going to be the first one I ever opened, so... I'm as excited as you are. Nice packaging here. I mean, they did a great job packaging that guy together. And then they put him in a nice bag with a stand. And, wow, this guy does look cool. It looks like the tip of his... So the tip of his tail is not attached, so let's go ahead and attach that. And uh, guys, once we get done looking at this guy, I'm going to go ahead and compare him to some of my NECA Godzillas, which currently are my favorite. So anyways, without further ado, let's start taking a look at this guy. So we're going to start right here on his head. Okay, they did a great job with the eyes and the mouth. I mean, the mouth will open. Wow! Man, those those teeth are sharp! That thing almost... Wow! They're like pin sharp. These teeth are seriously sharp. Wow! This is definitely not a kid's toy. And the spikes on his back... You could poke an eye out with this guy. Okay, so anyways, uh, really cool really great job with his tongue it's just like hanging there individual teeth all like well okay it's most of them are individual the top ones are 
Uh, really great paint job, awesome paint job with the eyes. I mean, that guy is really evil looking. Uh, you've got movement here, 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 and his entire neck here. So really good movement on the head there. Let's see. Oh, it will go all the way up and down, too. I mean, take a look at that. He could almost bite his own arm without moving his arm. Okay, let's continue on down to his arms. So, 360 degree movement on the arm. His 360 at the elbow and the hand. So, that is very similar to the NECA ones, but... They did even better job with the detail. Look at these claws. Wow. These claws are super sharp. This is one dangerous figure. I mean, if, if you buy this for any of your kids, it might be child abuse. <laughs> wow. Your kids could really hurt themselves on that. So you got to be careful. And then, uh, let's see, movement-wise, it looks like here... You move at his waist and then moving on down ah uh, by the way really great texture on the chest piece here too I mean I I love the texture and the coloring on these guys I mean you guys have said uh, the monster art Godzilla's are the best I mean you guys knew what you were talking about so great movement there but I mean I think I do like him better than my NECA one, but my NECA one is really cool too. Uh, one really cool thing is, this guy actually has a kneecap here, check that out. I mean, it's individual of the leg pieces, so move in and out, his kneecap here, like jiggles around, so it looks like a real kneecap, really cool. Uh, so movement on the leg here, and the off some movement here too and then 360 degree movement on the foot really great job with the claws i love that check that out i mean these look like real claws on a real animal that is so cool wow i i love that i mean the only bad thing about this, uh, I like doing... Oh, cool. Look at this movement you got on the shoulder, too. Oh, cool. Wow. I didn't see that on any figure before. Uh, the thing... One thing I don't like... I like doing a lot of Godzilla battles, and... I think I'd be scared to use this guy in any battles. Because sometimes it gets a little rough. You could damage your toys. Uh, like I said, I mean, these spikes on the back, these are like individual spikes all over the place. Some are super sharp. I mean, you'll lacerate your finger on these. I mean, this ain't like the soft, touchy feel of some Godzillas. Like this NECA Godzilla one. I mean, these, these spikes are almost soft. They're not sharp. The Monster Art ones... They don't care if you hurt yourself. <laughs> so, you better be careful. But, they do look awesome. It makes it a lot more authentic looking. Super long tail. Let's see you where you get movement. Over here. You get movement there. Okay, so it looks like this is one piece here. This is another piece there. This is another one. And then here 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 wow I mean you really get some awesome movement I mean look at this how you could like bend and flex this tail like uh oh I just bend and flexed it right off of Godzilla don't want to do that so uh but that's cool that it pops off rather than breaks Super cool, sharp spikes all the way up this guy. Wow! I can't say enough. I love the detail on this guy, especially his mouth. 
I mean, this is one evil looking guy. Check him out. Wow. So here is my five favorite NECA Godzillas. I'm gonna go ahead and compare them one at a time to the monster arts. Okay, one thing I do gotta say for sure is guys, one thing I do love about these monster art ones, they don't care about hurting you! I mean they just want it to look as accurate as possible. If it hurts you, it's your fault! I mean everything on this guy is sharp! I mean, you could lacerate your fingers anything you touch there. Where the NECA ones, I mean, they, they, they sort of like dumb it down. It's... You, you can't hurt yourself on that. I mean, if they sold this thing at Toys R Us, they'd probably get sued. <laughs> but uh, anyways, here is... This one is probably one of my favorite NECA ones. You could see the difference in detail here. I mean, especially starting there with the teeth. I mean, take a look at the difference on these teeth. These NECA ones, they're tiny. This one is sharp, jagged. I mean, okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to change the background. I'm losing, it keeps losing focus when I have it on like a jungle background. So take a look at these teeth, the difference. That is the biggest difference. And then the next one would be like the spikes and claws. This one's got little claws. This one, huge, super sharp claws. I mean, movement wise and stuff, the NECA and the uh, Monster are, are really similar. But I mean, like I said a moment ago, you guys who recommended I get the Monster Arts guys were definitely correct I mean they are awesome and here he is compared to the 1954 NECA most of these NECA ones I did buy at Toys R Us so I mean I understand they have to keep it safe for the average consumer they don't want to get sued but like I said Monster Arts just doesn't care it's like they want the most accurate detailed character even if it lacerates you <laughs> so that's awesome I mean I, I love the fact monster arts did that I mean look at the difference in their face and head and stuff I mean you can see this guy's got cool looking teeth but they're not sharp this guy's teeth oh man it'll kill you 
Well, okay, not kill you, but... And this guy spikes. I mean, they're soft, almost like foam. This guy, it's like his back is full of pins. I mean, do not touch that. And then even down to their claws. I mean, you can see this guy's got like regular gray claws. This guy's got super authentic looking claws. And then here he is compared to the uh, Atomic Breath Godzilla one from NECA. The Atomic one is cool too because it does have really nice big claws, but they are not as sharp as the Monster Arts one. And you can see once again the huge difference in their face and teeth. The Monster Arts, I mean it's just it just has bumps and ridges and I mean everything I mean if Godzilla was a real creature I mean it, the monster arts one would definitely look exactly like him so this one too the claws are like gray kind of boring compared to the monster art okay and here he would be compared to the 1954 NECA Godzilla, which once again the Monster Arts one just blows it away. I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I love my NECA ones, but the Monster Art one just blows it away. I mean, these spikes here, once again, really soft, like safe version. The claws on the hand, they're not all that big, they're not sharp at all. The toes are really kind of boring looking. And then finally here he is compared to the Flame Godzilla. The Flame Godzilla has a cool looking face, but it does not compare. I mean, if you guys out there, you want the most detailed, awesome looking one, definitely get the Monster Arts if price is not a problem. If it is, then stick with the NECA. I mean, this Monster Art one there is anywhere from about 90 to 150. And this NECA one is about, I believe it was under $30 at Toys R Us when they have them in stock. So this one you can see like the flames, the claws and everything. But the claws on the Monster Art definitely are a lot better. Okay guys, that was totally awesome. You guys enjoyed the animation and this video and you want to see more Godzilla monster art ones. Uh, let me know which ones you want to see. I got another one I will be doing probably next week, which I already bought. And I would love to buy more guys, but these guys are really expensive. So if you guys do like it, make sure you click like and keep watching so that I could continue buying these because I love them. The monster art ones are so cool. You guys are totally awesome. Make sure you like, subscribe, and keep watching. You guys are awesome and I will see you tomorrow. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.